you will learn in this courses. Various methods of installing rotary kill bricks are discussed. Along with the advantages and disadvantages of each method of installation. Course 1. The courses consists of the following points. It is divided into two course. Due to the length of the course. Course 1. 1. Preparatory work. 2. Lining methods. 3. Bricking procedure. Course 2. 1. Specific lining situations. 2. Kill startup. 3. Storage. 4. Installation report. 1. Preparatory work. General information, lining chart, lining method, mixing ratio, packing list, working instruction. Technical meeting with bricklayers. Contractors. Inspection of kill shell in repair section safety instructions important note even after passing the most rigorous safety instructions keep always your eyes open when entering and working inside the kill 2 lining methods 1 bricking machine 2 pogo sticks 3 screw jack method 4 glue 5 bolts 6 lining speed 1 bricking machine one of the most important features bricking machine safest lining method adaptable for different kill diameters no turning of kill in this figure shows bricking machine assembled in this figure shows bricking machine in operation this video shows how to use a bricking machine in the process of building a refractory lining for a rotary kill this method can be considered the most updated one for saving on labor cost in the execution of the lining work the sketch shown the basic components of a bricking machine 1 segment of curved frame 2 curved frame 3 working platform 4 pneumatic cylinders 5 self-supporting refractory ring by hydraulic jack we explain how to installation with bricking machine the first step of bricklaying consists in placing bricks close to a beam which is positioned on the kill bottom and parallel to its axis it is particularly important to check frequently that rings are mounted at right angles to the kill axis the base frame serves as a working platform and can be moved inside the kill the curved frame is located on the base frame and is also movable the curved frame advances ring by ring when the end of the working platform has been reached the entire platform is moved forward by its length the curved frame starts once again at the front side of the platform the machine has a double curved frame so it is possible to work on two rings at the same time the curved frame of the bricking machine consists of individual segments equipped with pneumatic cylinders in the upper part the segments are connected by swivel joints in the lower part is an adjustable connection so that a regulation to the existing kill diameter is possible 
The curved frame is mounted on an undercarriage with adjustable gauge. The height is set by lowering or lifting the working platform. When a ring is about to be closed with the front curved frame, a hydraulic jack is positioned in the brickwork gap in order to ensure a good tight fit of the brickwork. During this time the brickwork ring is self-supporting, so it is possible to remove the curved frame and move it forward by one ring. The rear curved frame can now support the brickwork when the hydraulic jack is taken out, in order to place the key bricks. In the meantime a new ring can be installed with the front curved frame. Watch the next video, explaining these steps in detail. In this video, it shows how, installation with bricking machine. This method can be considered the most updated one, for saving on labor cost in the execution of the lining work. Two. Pogo sticks method. Disadvantages of this method. Wooden rig is not adaptable, for different kill diameters. Advantages of this method. Low cost method. No pressurized air. No turning of kill. These pictures show, the installation of bricks in a, pogo sticks method. Three. Screw jacks method. Lining sequence. Install the refractory bricks on the lower half portion of the rotary kill for about one to three running meters. Then pause for installation break. Place the rectangular timber battens against the installed bricks on both sides along the kill axis. Then the timber battens are pressed against the installed bricks using the screw jacks. These pictures show lining sequence by screw jacks method. In the pictures 1. Use timber batten and screw jack, in pressing against the installed bricks. In the pictures 2. Shape pins for pressing the timber batten. In the pictures 3. The screw jacks tightening. In the pictures 4. Use of wooden wedges, to tighten the bricks in each ring. Lining sequence. For screw jacks method. The distance between the individual jacks should not be more than 80 centimeters. Inspect any bricks that are not directly pressed by the screw jacks, they should be tightened using wooden wedges. In order to prevent them from falling while rotating the rotary kill. After the inspection, remove all refractory and equipment from the rotary kill. Then rotate the rotary kill by 90 degrees, and then continue the same procedures as in the beginning. Proceed until all refractory bricks, are installed completely in full rings, and repeat the same procedures until all are completed. Advantages of screw jack method. 
rapid setup low cost equipment with low maintenance costs recommended for patchwork small diameter kills a less than 4 meters and short sections less than 4 running meters in this picture the preceding installation of refractory bricks to completion this video explain how to installation bricks with screw jack method Four. Glue method. The procedures to be followed starting from the The adhesive glue consists of resin mixtures with hardener. The surface to be glued must be kept clean and dry at all times, the presence of contaminants will affect the adhesive performance. Begin with section I, install the refractory bricks about five to six pieces and leave them until the glue dries up. Soon after, Install about 10 to 15 pieces of refractory bricks in counterclockwise direction without gluing. Repeat the same procedure with glue. 5. Bolt method. The equipment usage in this method similar to screw jack method. Only if it doesn't use screw jack, the important tools are M20 bolt, nut. 2 side screw bar with 20 mm diameter and 250 mm length, special washer, electric drill, channel steel or 10 by 10 by 400 cm, hardened wood, and transformer for welding nut with kill shell, are required for installation. This figure shows, refractory installation by bolt and nut method. Advantage of bolt and nut method the advantage of this method is similar to the screw jack method. However it is more useful in terms of no obstruction from screw jack, and longer installation as well as faster for one time, installation compared to screw jack method. Disadvantage of bolt and nut method. The weakness is to cutting brick, and fulfill it with castable, which might run not so long, due to the low quality of product or non-standard installation. Important points. Both the glue and the bolt method require a skilled workforce to avoid safety risks. For gluing, kill shell must be clean and dry. Low temperatures, less than 5A degrees C, will retard hardening of the glue. Follow manufacturer's instruction. With gluing and bolting, the kill inner space is not obstructed by bricking rigs, jacks. Kill needs to be turned for completing the rings. Lining speed. Safety first. Then quality. Then speed. The often cited rule of thumb. Kills with diameter 4 meter to 5 meters per shift, 10 meters per day. Kills with diameter 5 meter to 4 meters per shift, 8 meters per day, must be seen as a minimum today with detailed planning, sufficient personnel, and a skilled workforce 16 to 20 meters per day, will be lined without incurring quality. 3. Bricking Procedure 1. Marking the axial line and radial lines. 2. Staggered VS straight rings. 3. Ring closure key bricks, position of key bricks, Jackin, pressure. 4. Key shims position, thickness, drive in procedure. 5. 
fit to old brickwork L shapes, position of cut standard size bricks. 6. Reshimming of old brickwork. 7. Open axial joints in old brickwork, what is acceptable. 8. Preparing for warming up. Marking the axial line and radial lines. In this figure it is shown. Fixing the axial and radial lines by A. Level plumb bob or B. By laser goniometer. This shape is Recommended Staggered lining pattern Overlapping of adjacent bricks allows relative movement of individual rings without edging. This shape is not recommended compound lining pattern one of the most important notes when brick laying one start rings according to the indicated mixing ratio two knock the bricks in place with rubber hammer three Frequently check that rings are parallel to radial lines. 4. Check always that cold face of brick, is in full contact with kill shell. Notice. Do not complete sections longer than 6 to 8 meters. This shape is. Tolerated. Straight lining. This shape is. Recommended. Staggered lining. Two taper system. This figure shows mixing ratio between B322 and B622 equals 2 to 1. Important note. Compare theoretical and actual mixing ratio in every ring, document deviations. This figure shows the difference between when brickwork turning too fast and when brickwork turning too slow. Ring closure. Ring closure installation. The last refractory brick to be installed for ring closure, is one of the most important steps that determine the quality of installation work, and shall adhere to the principles below. In each ring, once the remaining space to be installed, between the two sides has reached 0.8 to 1.0 meter, measure the exact distance between the two sides, of the opposite bricks, and calculate the quantity combination of full and key bricks to be used in advance to improve the installation time. This figure shows the allocation of key bricks and shimming plates. This figure shows measuring distance of the remaining space to calculate the bricks combination for ring closure. Important notes 1. The last brick to be used as ring closure, should be the full bricks and not the key bricks, which are better at adsorbing the stress from hitting, during the ring closure than the key bricks. 2. The installed key bricks shall not be adjacent, to each other rather they should be installed alternately with full bricks, and the key bricks to be installed, in each ring must not exceed 4 pieces. 3. When the last brick has been inserted as a ring closure, the bricks within the ring are often remained loose untight, therefore the shimming plates, with a thickness of 2 to 3 mm, are to be inserted between the bricks, until the ring is sufficiently tightened. Be careful! The use of hammer, to hit the shimming plate. Thank you for watching, and I hope these courses are helpful to everyone. Subscribing to this channel Cement Industry Courses would be appreciated. Thank you.